Well, earlier we had technical issues on the story about the problems caused on CTA trains yesterday, yesterday evening during the evening commute. Here is what that report says from Sarah Mackey. Check out this video. Tuesday afternoon, CTA riders helped from a Brown Line train stuck on the tracks near the Merchandise Mart above the Chicago River. Each of them walking single file down the catwalk to safety. 24 hours later, one rider says he hasn't forgotten the moment when he realized something was wrong. And it felt like the train was like off the tracks on the right side. It leaned up on the left, slammed back down, giant spark or explosion, I don't know. <laughs> and then came to a halt, and then we were stuck there for like two hours. James Harley's account matches what others told us Tuesday. The train literally went on the side. I've been on the train many times and never did that. Everybody's looking like the same right. So we took their concerns to the CTA. They say, according to preliminary information, there was a ground fault, explaining it's like a circuit breaker being tripped in a home. You're exposed to rain, snow, uh, dirt. We talked to transportation consultant Adam Oksher, who says it's unlikely the CTA train wheel and track ever lost contact, but Chicago's elevated, exposed train lines face challenges and harsh curves that others might not. I would say the Brown Line is kind of the epitome of that. You know, it was built through some very, very some existing neighborhoods, and to do so, yeah, has some of the sharpest curves of any you know, major subway line. CTA representatives tell us they're still investigating what caused the ground fault, but that speed was not a factor. Adding trains traveling through this junction and intersection are restricted to a speed that ensures both safe operations and a comfortable riding experience. That was Sarah Maki reporting, and we will continue to check with the CTA and let you know when they find an exact cause of the outage.